this video is all about skincare marathon it's not funny anymore it's 37 degree right here today Oof. <laughs> in today's video we're going to be talking about only 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 sunscreens it's already summertime like how time changes so fast now irrespective of any weather you should ideally use sunscreens any time of the year but especially in the summer if you don't want to get tanned like i did now i did a mistake and for that i got tanned I walked six kilometers without any sunscreen that's why my skin got literally burnt thank god my face was covered with sunscreen so you can understand the difference even though i have foundation but my foundation is matching my skin tone and how if you don't want to get tanned and like i did this summer then please continue watching and i do have different recommendations for different skin types as well i'm gonna suggest everything under one roof so grab your snacks because it's gonna be a little long video i can assume it for sure number one has to be my plum two percent niacinamide and rice water sunscreen it is infused with rice water two percent niacinamide a lot of science in there it helps in reducing blemishes brightens your skin and it is a hybrid sunscreen it has spf 50 with pa triple plus with physical and chemical sun filters it is mainly targeted for acne prone skin type so if you don't know let me give you a small reference i come from oily acne prone skin type and i have a lot of blemishes scars from my previous acne even though i try a lot of product and it gets fade away with time but i do get acne every single time before my periods the scars on my face are recyclable like it is recycling in every month i love this product it does not have any white cast when we're applying sunscreen the biggest concern i feel that it feels very heavy on the skin but not with this one it feels so lightweight because of its gel like consistency if you continuously thoroughly use it you will see a visibility result in four weeks that's what they claim i actually have an entire video where i have talked about the rice water gel rice water serum because i love to use this entire range that plum has recently launched guys if you haven't tried any of the product from this particular range i highly request you guys to do because it's very very good it's specially made for i feel like oily combination acne prone skin type it comes with uva uvb and blue light protection obviously it helps in preventing tanning 2% niacinamide helps in fading the blemishes and rice water helps in smoothening skin so you can apply it in every two hours if you're stepping out but only one time will do as well because i have tried it only once in an entire day when i was out and it did not make me very tan honestly so i freaking love this product if you don't know how to reapply your product i have got this question quite a lot like how do we apply apply it how this makes sense to reapply your sunscreen in every two hours guys let me clarify it before i go to the next product that you can apply sunscreen in every two hours on your face without cleaning your face up okay but you will get acne for sure if you are applying it with your dirty hands so even if you can't throw water on your face i will ideally suggest you guys to even throw a little bit of water on your face every single time it's summertime guys so i see my friends are throwing water on their face in every single hour honestly i'm, I'm not even lying it's not that difficult especially in india to throw water on your face because water is quite available at this very moment at least if you are wearing makeup that's a different story but guys practically speaking we are not applying shadiwala makeup at daytime and especially Especially in this summer right so basically you are using a bb cream or a cc cream or the tinted foundations that are available in market and a little bit of blush or tint right so it will not remove that makeup and obviously with stick sunscreens i have always said on my channel that use a little bit of tissue to clean the surface now if you want to take care of your skin and if you don't want to get tanned every single day you do have to do this very bare minimum for your skin we are outside only for eight to ten hours you can apply it only once also or if you don't like reapplying you can just leave it like that way make sure that you are not washing away your sunscreen when you are outside if you are washing it off then of course reapplication is mandatory this is a practical solution of reapplying a sunscreen this is a bare minimum that you can do for your skin next i'm going to talk about two sunscreen from the brand minimalist now when minimalist launched it was a breakthrough launch honestly everyone was talking about minimalist minimalist is the brand who brought the exact science skincare routine in India. It was never there before, but somehow it just got shadowed once again i don't hear about minimalist anymore i don't know what happened but i think of course i know businesses are all about ups and downs and it's hard i have been there i know but i'm going to talk about minimalist multivitamin spf of 50 it has no white cast it is infused with multivitamins which helps in reducing photo aging pa plus 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 it's a very lightweight moisturizing feels sunscreen easily gets spread on the skin once you start massaging it into your skin it will be like barely there and it gives a very non-shiny finish that i love 
as an oily skin person but once you start sweating though for me personally i have seen it just becomes very oily it will not feel heavy once you are getting into your centralized ac office yes when you are outside it will get a little messy with sweat it will mix and it will just drip down on your shirt so make sure you are carrying a handkerchief as well now the multivitamins in this product is vitamin a b e and f if you feel your skin is already damaged by the uv exposures outside you know you need this this is suitable for all skin types this will help in repairing your damaged skin as well honestly if you are not in that humid area you will not even sweat sweating is not going to be a lot of problem once again i'm saying this you can literally reapply it after going to the office it's not that tough now this is a very old packaging they have revamped the packaging now they come in tube i don't have the tube honestly i would any day prefer a pump over a tube if you're looking for a moisturizing sunscreen which will work across every skin type and you don't know yet what type of skin type you have you should definitely invest in it i also have the minimalist SUF for 40 invisible sunscreen now it is one of the best sunscreen that i have come across even though it is SPF for 40 i don't really mind it because of its consistency and the ingredient list as well all of the products from minimalist are fragrance free and it has pa triple plus protection it is infused with squalene squalene is an ingredient that i personally really like and how it reacts with my skin it is infused with tomato juice jojoba seed oil it really heals your skin not only it is a lightweight sunscreen but it is also water resistant so particularly if you're a swimmer it's gonna be your jam for sure this particular sunscreen is only for oily skin type don't use it dry skin type it will just peel on your skin because it is a complete matte formula and you can even use it underneath your makeup as a first layer of primer and it does not move your foundation that's the best part it also helps in protecting premature signs of aging it protects your skin from uva uvb rays if you are in your mid-20s and if you're seeing of those little bit of wrinkles fine lines are everywhere it's completely fine we are not using botox we are not film stars but to reduce that to a certain extent this will play a very pivotal role i have a plethora of sunscreen from the next brand which i'm going to be talking about none other than earth rhythm itself this is the micro encapsulated technology which has spf of 30 it is a daily defense sunscreen it has pa triple plus protection and it is a mineral sunscreen now if you don't know the difference about mineral sunscreen and physical sunscreen and chemical sunscreen let me know in the comments i will make a specific video for that because if i try to elaborate all of it it will become a very complex and very very long video it is infused with all natural minerals quick absorbing sunscreen now sunscreens from earth rhythm particularly does not contain any chemical sunscreen filters whatever minerals they have in the sunscreen mostly plant-based minerals as it is spf of 30 I would say if you are staying at home, only apply it. Any SPF of 30 sunscreen prominently works on medium exposure and you are not encountering with direct sunlight. Next, I have the Earth Rhythm Invisible Sunstick SPF of 60. I will repurchase all my life honestly because it literally saved me from sunburn. So I carried it in Thailand where I got this brutal tan. Thankfully, I applied it on my face. Somehow, I just forgot why I don't apply anything on my neck. I genuinely don't have an excuse for it because my neck is very sensitive. I get rashes in like every other day whenever i even wear oxidized jewelry like this the next day i'll get rashes all over on my neck i never apply anything and that's why i got brutally burnt but thankfully this helped me through and through in thailand i literally applied it on my hands on my face sometimes even on my legs when i was on the beach now it comes with pa quadrant plus protection it protects skin from any type of sun damage it helps in reducing dark spots and discoloration it is infused with vitamin e almond jojoba oil it's water resistant it's so easy to carry as well additionally it is suitable for all skin types even men can use this please if you're not using a sunscreen it takes you you don't like using a sunscreen in a cream form at least use a stick i particularly carried it because it was so fuss free and it was so easy to reapply on the go next i have another sun stick which is aqua surge clear sun stick spf of 60 from the same brand it has a little bit of cooling effect perfect one especially for this hot humid weather as spf of 60 pa quadrant plus protection uva uvb protection it suits all skin types once again it doesn't feel greasy or heavy on the skin even if you sweat it doesn't leave any white cast you can literally apply it on top of your makeup as well always clean it up you can see i have a clean surface even though i use it like nobody's business next i have the phyto shield spa for 50 matte mineral sunscreen from earth rhythm this comes with pa triple plus uv uvb protection it comes with elastoma technology now you'll be like what is elastoma technology elastoma technology helps to diffuse wrinkles and fine lines giving skin a very silky smooth powdery feel this formulation provides very long lasting protection compared to the other sunscreens matte sunscreen it does not provide you any white cast whatsoever 
ever. It was one of my favorite sunscreen when I was continuously using it. I have given an in-depth review of this particular product as well on my channel. Sometimes honestly I just forget about some products because of the nature of my job. Honestly I would any day go back to this product and continuously use it. Mostly suitable for sensitive skin type but oily acne prone skin type can use it. It has a very gel consistency which is not water resistant. I remember carrying this in Goa and I was on beach. I was all soaked but still it protected my skin through and through and I did not reapply. Next I have two sunscreens from the brand Bioderma. These are the two sunscreens that I have recently started using. First thing that I have is the Photoderm Cream SP for 50 plus. This is a very tiny sunscreen 40 ml which will run for a month or so but not more than that honestly. Even though it has invisible texture if you're darker like me I think it will look a little white in the beginning. You just have to wait for five minutes until it fully gets absorbed by your skin. It is meant for all skin types. Even if you have sensitive skin type you can use this product. It doesn't have any additional fragrance and it's very easily blendable. Even though I have just started using it for four weeks I will highly recommend you guys to get this. It comes with UVA UVB protection. It helps in activating skin's natural defenses. It protects from the risk of cellular damage. While I was researching on this product I went through their website and I saw that they have mentioned that it is suitable for pale skin with freckles. I don't even know what that means honestly. That's why I told you that it will look a little whitish once you start blending it on your skin. If you are launching a sunscreen in India, I know that you are a US based company and you have products across all over the world but if you are certainly launching a product in Indian market, how much of a percentage in this population actually has pale skin with freckles? It just blew my mind once I saw it in the website but nothing to do. Now SPF of 30 a variant basically is an anti-blemish sunscreen. You don't necessarily need an SPF of 50 if you're not stepping out so SPF of 30 is going to be the perfect for you and once again it's water resistant. It's meant for only combination and oily skin type. It doesn't give you a lot of shine like other sunscreens, a matte sunscreen. Now the consistency of this product once again similar to the SPF 50 very fluid in nature. It has very high UVA and UVB protection. Now, this product has an exclusive patent for AK in matte. AK in matte biological regulates sebum production and that's how they prevent the appearance of blemishes. It will moisturize your oily skin as much as you need. As it is water resistant, it will stay matte is matte even if you are sweating a lot. Next sunscreen that I'm going to be talking about is from the house of Pio Sense. Now Pio Sense is a very underrated brand I'll say. It does not get the hype that it deserves. I love their macadamia range. It's amazing for winter time. I'm also currently using the Pure Sense face wash. So overall I love this brand. But this is SPF for 50 which has PA quadrant plus protection infused with niacinamide and saffron extract. That means it will help in getting reduced your blemishes. It gives a very sort of glowy look. So it might not be your jam in the summer but post summer even in monsoon you can use this product. I was about to finish this product when I switched to another sunscreen. You can also sense that I only have like this much. It has AVA, UVB protection. It comes with the protection of PA triple plus. It helps in preventing tan and if you feel that your skin has become very dull this one is for you specifically. It does not have water resistance so it will melt. If that's not your concern it's gonna be your jam and it is also vegan and cruelty free. I'm not gonna lie it slightly feels heavy than other sunscreens that I have shown you. Honestly cannot use it in this summer. That's why I switched to another product. It's gonna be humid over here. Next I have the Moody's Acne Expert Dry Touch Sunscreen which has SP for 50 and comes with PA Quadrant Plus protection. Now let's shift a little bit and talk about the packaging. The packaging is so cute, so compact to carry as well even though it has 50 ml of product. More than the 40 ml of product which I have shown you from Bioderma. Now this sunscreen once again has a very fluid consistency. It has a very good ingredient list. Even though I haven't tried a lot of product from this brand and I sort of didn't know about this brand as well but this product really blew me off. The key ingredient of this product is niacinamide and green tea which helps in controlling sebum production. It has a very matte texture which leaves a very velvety smooth finish on your skin so you can apply it before your makeup as a pre-makeup primer. Green tea soothes and calm inflamed and irritated skin. If your skin is prone to acne as it helps in regulating excess oil that's how it helps in preventing acne as well. It is a silicon based sunscreen. Ideally it is meant for oily acne prone skin. Next I have this blessing tree sunscreen lotion. Now I have a dedicated video for this particular sunscreen because it is a quite complex sunscreen. It is a mineral based sunscreen. In a nutshell I can tell you that it is a very good sunscreen. It has SP for 50 PA triple plus protection. It was the first water resistant sunscreen that I have come across in 2021. 
2021 and the game of this product is still going strong on amazon i just searched it before making this video and i saw a lot of people are buying it i think it's a must purchase in 2024 and that's why i have included this sunscreen in this video as well now it comes in this pump bottle you just need to squeeze a little bit and it will just come off it's very easy to blend once again it's very very creamy it's very lightweight it does not feel very greasy after a certain amount of time and it doesn't have any pungent fragrance as well while other products comes in 50 ml of packaging mostly this comes in 100 ml of packaging it will run for a very long time you don't necessarily need to reapply it but once again if you want to reapply it's your skin if you want to protect you will find a way to protect your skin right in 2021 there was a lot of controversy around this product i knew and still i tried this product and gave an in-depth review of this particular product as well so if you want to see that video even though the quality is not the very best you can go ahead and check that video out after watching this video next i have a sunscreen which is a very basic sunscreen this is from the brand popzo they have a lot of variants like tinted version they have a dry skin type version they have a moisturizer version i did not like any of them nonetheless i like this version this is the spf of 30 h2o booster gel sunscreen which has spf of 30 pa triple plus protection 30 grams of packaging this is a very basic sunscreen if you are just staying at home and you want to purchase a sunscreen you are just visiting somewhere you want to get a very compact sunscreen in a gel form i think this is the one for you it's non-greasy water gel formula it's a very basic moisturizing sunscreen and there is no white cast whatsoever as well as you can see in real time it gives a very dewy finish on your skin okay so it's ideally not for oily skin type for this summer it has h2o booster that means it provides hydration if you're getting additional hydration from a sunscreen you don't need to layer up different products as well it has cacao plum hyaluronic acid so it helps in calming your skin if you have irritation and also defends your skin from the environmental damage it's basically once again for acne prone skin type next i'm going to talk about this watermelon cooling sunscreen from the brand dot and key now i have a fair opinion about it that it does not suit me at all even though i know everyone and their mother are thriving literally thriving for it but I'm, I'm just not there yet i have given a live demo where my skin is peeling i have tried dabbing motion i have tried blending motion and it does not work now i am into the skincare journey for a very long time trust me and if something is not working on my skin i'm just like um and i am the person who tries to make things work be it sunscreen be it relationship friendship whatever it is i'm the person who loves to give in and if some product is not working on me i just pass it to my mom i just bring her to the table to try certain products with me as well what can i say about this product it just does not work guys if it works for you it's very good i have seen multiple videos of oily skin type influencers but somehow it just does not work for me and i don't feel good after applying it that's that next i have dot and keys vitamin c plus a super bright sunscreen now this is the new packaging that i have i have already finished two bottles of it which says a lot it has a very water light texture it fights with dullness and it has no white cast at all it is infused with triple vitamin c it will provide you glow but not greasy or oily sort of a glow but very healthy sort of a glow blood orange and uv filters you have exposed your skin excessively on the sun for the past few years i think this is the one for you because it heals your skin it is Especially made for oily skin type. It does not become greasy or it does not give you that oily texture. It's a very quick absorbing sunscreen. It just gets absorbed into your skin like 15 seconds. Next I have the Blueberry Hydrate Barrier Repair Sunscreen. Now this is the new launch of Dot & Key. Like they have launched in February only. It comes with 6 UV filters which is very unique. It's gonna give you the utmost protection that your skin needs. It has SP for 50 plus, PA Quadrant Plus protection, hydrating sunscreen for healthy sun protected skin. Made up with a lot of ceramides, hyaluronic acid and blueberry along with these it delivers a good blue light protection it has a very lightweight texture just like water and very quickly it gets absorbed in the skin and it is ideal for all skin types if you are just getting into sunscreen and you don't know all the scientific terms and you don't know which is going to be suitable for you you need this it does not irritate your skin protects your skin from tanning if you are looking for a new sunscreen that just works across every skin type you need this all right it was a very big video i can see it took me four hours to film this video so i am dehydrated i really need to drink my water so before signing off i hope you guys found this video helpful my effort for this video was out of my imagination i researched i worked so hard for this particular video this video is an investment of a year i was following this sunscreen now for the longest time i cannot even remember thankfully i wrote down everything on my diary that's what i do with every skincare product in general so that i do not forget when i'm about 
to talk about that particular product with you guys because by the time i'm gathering all of this product of course i'm going to be forgetting the one product that i have tried in january of 2023 it's a very long term process i hope this video reaches to the audience and you have spent your valuable time on watching my video so i just want to deliver the best possible information that i can gather from my end all the products link will be in the description box and if you found this video helpful please don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel share this video with your friends and family and especially with your partner father husband friend anyone men need to get into sunscreen if they are not willing to get into skincare bare minimum that they can do is get into a sunscreen all the sunscreen that i have mentioned on today's video was for both men and women that's about it hopefully i'll see you guys on the next one till then i love you guys so much stay happy stay beautiful take care of yourself don't forget to use sunscreen in the summer and hydrate yourself with a lot of water bye